Keep me a shooter, but ain't talking camera. These bitches so thirsty, gon' handle my family. Ballin' hard like I play for Indiana. I think that's the reason these niggas can't stand us. They think I'm an outlaw and rock the bandana. Yo, what's up? I'm back. I'm here doing a ball fade. An awesome ball fade. As you can see, my clippers are real sharp. They real good. They they clean that hair way up like they supposed to. And I'm going halfway up. Not even halfway. You see, I kind of went down a little bit towards the back. But the main thing is you want to get that that ball, that bowl part clean. When you say a ball fade, you want to do an actual ball fade. You don't you don't leave no hair, so. You might have to go over this a few times. You gotta go do the sides, you gotta go over the bottom, the back, all that. Because you want the hair to be completely gone. You don't wanna just half ass do it and then leave a whole bunch of hair right there. No. So you see what I'm doing? I'm going back over and over. And that line ain't gotta be like no straight, crispy, perfect line. You could do it like that if you want to. You ain't really got to do it like that. As long as you get it bald, because you're just going to fade it out anyway. You know what I'm saying? What's use of making a straight line, crispy line, you're just going to fade the whole line out. But you do want it to be straight, but it ain't got to be crispy straight. But right there, those are my masters all the way open. I'm flicking up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. I just want to, you see, I ain't even putting no fade into it like that. I'm just taking the bulk out of it. That's basically what I'm doing. Just taking that good bulk from out of it. Then boom, I'm coming back with my masters with the surgical. Oh no, it's surgical, it's surgical. Not yet, not yet. This is my uh, one guard. I guess I did a whole different skip step right here. I be doing so many different steps. But this is my one guard. I'm flicking up with this just a little bit. Cutting down with it. And then wait till I go to my surgical blades though. Y'all gonna see. That's when y'all really gonna be interested. So I'm just flicking up my one purple guard. You know, boom, boom, boom. I'm taking that. I'm just the actual fade right there. There they go. There they go. There go them babies right there. That right there. I highly recommend to get some uh the surgical fade blade on your masters if you don't have any, or buy another pair of masters with these on there. Cause these get get that line straight out, and they're very very good for doing like flat tops and afro shape shape ups too. So yeah, I highly recommend those. I keep two pair of masters. Fading it with those. Look how easy that is. Look how easy the line coming out. Look how that fade is looking right there. Oh man, I don't even see the line like that. I see it a little bit, but I don't see it that much. I, then I usually go back over with my liners, but with these right here, with these fade blades, you really don't need the liners to go over. Cause you, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give y'all a secret. You damn near could line up with the fade blade too. We ain't gonna talk about that in this video. Not in this video. But yeah, you just clean it up with those. And sometimes if you want to, you can go back over with the liners. If your blade don't get that close, but that fade blade, damn, they're gonna do it. So I'm using the fade blade to fade out the sides too of that sideburn at, cause you don't wanna just have no bald in hair on the sideburn. You gotta fade that sideburn out too, and then let it gradually blend in from being bald to a hair. So it be bald, a fade, then it's hair. See how I'm doing that? I'm hitting it just a little bit. You want to blend that in, you don't want to just leave it right there like that, because then it ain't going to look right. Don't, I don't think nobody want that. And right now, these are my babies right here. I recommend these two. I use these to start the ball fade, and I use these to line up too. I have three pair of um, liners that I use, so but whichever ones you comfortable with, use those. But I use these right here specifically for ball fades. I use these specifically for ball fades. I had to repeat that, I had to say that twice. Just to let y'all know, don't, I don't use just one clipper on doing everything with one clipper because that put wears and tear on your clipper. So buy a, a pair of clippers just for balding. One that's tough like that. That's a tough clipper right there. So I use that just for balding. I will line with it too, but I have another pair that I like to use for lining it up. As you, as you can see, I'm using these right now. And in my other videos, I'm gonna show y'all the other um, clippers I use. But look how crispy the lining is, and I haven't even put any enhancements on it yet. Look at that. 
he go, he gonna try to sponge it right in the middle while I'm cutting. Bam, bam, bam. And his hair is much longer now, so I'm gonna do an update follow up video of him. If y'all wanna see more, man, comment on the in the comment section. If y'all wanna see more of this guy right here, I'm gonna do another video. And his hair is very long now. I do the mustache just a little bit. Kinda thin, not too thin though. I hit that side right there. Get all that hair up. You don't wanna leave no hair on that cheekbone. Cause don't nobody want no crispy liner but with extra hair on it. See these my other liners, see I don't use, like I say I don't use. One pair on the whole heck I'm gonna switch it up. Then I'm gonna use these. That way I don't put too much rare and tail on my clippers. Cause boy, I was always complaining about oh, if I keep using my if I if I do these clippers on the bald head, it's gonna make my blade duh. You use one for the bald head. The rest of them for linings. Then I, I also have some when I put the enhancements on that I line up with after I put the enhancements on. So I have three pair, like I said. And I recommend that you barbers get y'all clipper game up. At least keep three pair of liners. Keep more liners than clippers. That's what I would say. Because you're going to need them liners. Them liners are 75% of the haircut. That's what they say. So you might as well keep more liners than clippers. So I'm just testing it up. These. I done lined it up with my other ones now. I'm hitting it with these just to make it a little crispier. Just go put the definition back into it. Then bam, that's the pencil right there. The thing is with really using these pencils, you want to go light. And I always use the brown one if you use, if you want a darker colored person's hair. But if you want to, if you're doing a white person, then you use the white one. Or a lighter person, like very light skinned, then you use the white pencil. But I be seeing how some people don't know, don't know how to use the pencil. It be all thick. And then you're gonna go over and smear it out just a little bit. That's what I do, so it won't, I won't leave it all thick like that. Cause I be saying, like I said, some of these bars be leaving the pencil on there all white and thick. It be, the dude be dark skinned. I'm talking about black as, black as night. And then y'all put a white pencil on them. And it just don't look right. It's just, it looks kind of goofy, but it's the trend nowadays that people want, so they gonna follow the trend. But I try to make it look more professional as possible, cause since I am a professional. I'm not just somebody out here with clippers. No, I'm in school for this, I have a license for this. So this is what I do. So look at that fade though. Hitting it again with that fade blade. I got, like I said, I highly recommend that fade blade. Look, and you do know this is my guy right here cause he, 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 he talking and, and using the little tennis racket to sponge his hair and all that. That's why I do a video on him. I do the videos on people who I really deal with. I know they don't, be, they don't mind being in the video. But he know I'm going to get them together though. Because like I always do. Matter of fact, he came today and I cut his hair. And this video was pretty old. But he came today and I did. And I got him together. Same part and everything. Look at that right there. Man, let me know how y'all feel about this. About this haircut right here. And what other type of videos y'all want me to do, man? Because I got y'all. Whatever y'all want to do, I got y'all. I ain't tripping. Just let me know in the comments. And boom, I'm going to go ahead and do it and make that. Y'all wish is my command.